What's up, everybody? So because I have a habit of running well over time, I'm going to be recording this as just a general Korea intro. So thank you guys for watching. Let's get started with the video. Let's go with the swivel cannon. Let's see some more land. Get rid of patronage of the arts. I have my three guys back. I don't think I really need this anymore. Like, I honestly don't. The Ottomans have gone colonial. You know what? Let's have... Let, let, let's let the Ottomans have some land. They need to be over here. Good lord. Sometimes it's so dumb what they do. Uh, I can go down here. Oh, you've been blocked off. The English colonized so fast, you've been blocked off entirely. Either way, I think it's time that we get rid of our colonial ideas and pick up other things. So let's go ahead and get rid of exploration first. No, I, I still haven't fog busted everything, and I'd like to see everything in this world. So let's hire another explorer to go out and fog bust. And then I have another one here. Yes, I do. So let's hire another explorer to go out. No? You won't do that? Oh, it must be in port. Where is it? Oh, you're out of port. Okay, getting into port. Now go explore. I'll have you just fog bust the non-ocean tiles. Do I have more? I'm pretty sure I have more somewhere. No? I don't have any more? Okay. Well, those two will work. I need to keep it just for the range. Plus, I don't really have enough other power. But what else can I take? I'll go with the Monarchist. Don't ask me why. Just... I, I feel it in my bones that he'll be better. I can restore the northern wall. Where's the northern wall one? There it is. Okay. They specifically have to have a fortress? Okay. Fortress is what? Oh, okay. So it's just I haven't gotten to that point yet. With tech 24. Okay. Let's uh, keep improving our economy, I think. Because I've been neglecting that, and I need to not neglect it. Tax is not the best right now, but tax still works. Money is money. Okay, that's about to be done coring. Is there anything I can go after Oirat for? There, he does have some cores. Shun is now a vassal of his. That's great. Um, yeah. So there is. And then I could actually vassalize Chagatai. Which would... Yeah. Give me a way to attack Uzbek, or a reason to attack Uzbek if I really wanted to. I mean, I, I don't think I need to get out of China, China. I think I should just stay there. Because I'm not really going for achievements in this, I don't think. I think I'm just chilling, playing Korea. Playing with their new mechanics and this is actually pretty interesting, but I just don't... I don't know why you would want to do something, some of these things. Like, yes, I understand if you're going to just dev and never expand and truly play stupidly tall, this is helpful. But I don't think anybody's ever going to play that way, and the bonuses for doing so are just not that great. 5% dev cost is not good enough to justify 33% more quest for expansion and 33% more core creation cost for 20 years. This one, 
that's nice. It really is. But, eh. It's, yeah, for extra morale, you, you basically are hurting your other ways to expand. Not bad, just... Okay. If it was discipline, oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And lower cord creation cost, but this is just better for me in my opinion. Especially for that harmonization speed. It's if you're going out into the new world, which you should be doing as Korea. It is helpful. Even in the normal map, you should be doing that. Always. Always be doing that. Yeah, I need to catch up in Diplo. I'm not focused on anything. If I focus on Diplo... Yeah, let's focus on Diplo. Let's not even talk about it. Let's just do it. Because I know I need to do it. Okay, whenever am I going to be able to... I, just, I can do... Whenever I am ready. Okay. Well, I want to do it when I have Cara Dell ready to go too. So let's do that as well. Because Cara Dell shouldn't be that much far behind you. Yeah, there it's now. Alright. I don't know why you need my help for this. I don't even know who I'm fighting over here. Over here? Okay. Go, colonies, go! Don't let them escape. It's such an important war. Brunei is actually doing fairly well. They haven't, they'll, they'll never take over their whole island, but... They're actually still doing fairly well. Can't take that away from them. Okay, we gotta... Keep building. What up here is not having a manufactory? You do... I mean, and development eight, so... Ye you don't, do you? Oh, you do, okay. Yes. Yes. Yes? No? No, you don't. Oh, yes, you do. Still your household. Just not... Just looking right past it. Let's go ahead and just do it this way. How about uh, this? Okay. So I have a state house there, and no mill, because it already has a manufactory. So what am I missing? I'm missing one of them. That's the problem. Which one am I missing? You have a plantation, so that works too. Plantation. State house, state house, mill, soldier household, plantation, mill. Oh, come on, where are you? You're hiding somewhere. Is it development instead? It's you, isn't it? No, you're soldier household too. Okay. What am I missing then? Am I not just understanding this correctly? Where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Where is it? It's down here, this one. All of it has to be owned by me. Yes. It's a Korean court. Yes. It has to be Korean. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. Did I not convert you? No, I did. It's all Sino Korean. Yeah, it's all development eight. Should be. That should have happened a long time ago. Yeah. Manufactory. That that's the only thing I can think of. But they all have manufactories, man.
They either have that or a soldier's household. Like, do I need actual manufactories? Like, like, like these? Not, not soldiers' households don't work. That has to be a manufactory. I mean, if that's what I have to do. Yeah. I done here yet? No, I haven't. So I have to expand infrastructure, build a mill. You have a mill. You have a soldier's household. So, oh, this is probably not going to do it. But if it has to be, <laughs> I can't think of anything else I could really try. You already have one. Oh, should have probably looked. Just that. I don't have the money. Okay. Let's wait for the money. Sure, I'll take the admin power. I don't mind doing this because I can't really use my military power for anything else anyway. I know I need to replace my ideas, but if you look at my ideas, the only admin and uh, uh, diplo I've taken so far are my colonial ideas, so I have to replace them with that. I didn't get manufactories. Really? I have a lot of them. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. I need to do you. Oh, you're going to be disloyal. That's fine. Either way, I think I need to save up the money and change him out of being a colonizing dude. Because there's nowhere else for him to colonize. I don't know where he lost. Oh, he lost him up here. That okay? Yeah. I mean, he shouldn't have been up there that far anyway. Start annexing you. Wait, no, I need to get Cara Dell too. Already influencing. Let's send another gift. Okay, I'm still improving relations. Good. Before Com is integrated, I should be able to get the other one started at least. And there was this other little stuff down here. I wanted to know. I'm pretty sure it's Spain. But at the same time, I'm just curious. Just random English provinces surrounded by Portuguese. And go finish the final fog bust. Okay, there is Cara Dell, which means I can pull back on these other two guys down here, and get them started as well. I know I'm not going to have enough uh, Diplo points to probably finish them all, or even like one of them before I run out, but that's fine. I have already focused on Diplo, that's fine. I 
want to give either one of you any land. You have not earned any of my land. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I'm still working up here. already have a trade station and so do you so you guys actually have manufactories you don't and I miss Pyongyang Can. Let's start doing that. Uh, no. Just no. Thank you. Yeah, it's not done yet, but they're not built yet, so. Am I missing something else? Like, is the development supposed to be any particular kind? Am I missing a different province that's, like, hidden in the Korea region or something? I'm that far ahead of tech, really. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be that far ahead with military development or military tech. Let's just uh, throw a bunch of points down. Mind you, I did not pick up anything for development. I wasn't going to do that. That just wasn't my priority in this game. You already have a mill. You have a mill. Okay, let's go ahead and start flipping these guys out of being... Let's put them into Crown Colony. If I remember right, Crown Colony is more money. Uh, private enterprise. Oh no, this is more money, this is more force limit, manpower, all of that. That should keep him okay. And then there's you. I'm back there again. Yeah, it was building actual manufactories. Apparently, state houses and soldier households don't don't count. That is so dumb. Just pick that up. Waiting for the fortress. Might as well pick up the inflation reduction. Now I still have to make more money, so let's build more workshops. I'll be upgrading them soon enough. Could do you, but how long do you take? 12 months? That ain't too bad. It's a pretty hefty investment, but I have like, what, another 180 years for that to pay off? Yeah, I know. I'm getting near capping out again. Sorry, I had a text message come in. Stop and read it. I don't actually have any days off. In, in case nobody's ever worked salary, you don't actually have days off. So, my boss might just ping me at whatever time on Saturday and tell me, Hey, I need you to do this. 
Okay. It's only happened once, and usually it only happens because something massively has broken. Okay, there goes you. The only one that's left is Mongolia. Alright, or you're at, that means you, you need to go. You desperately need to go. Because you're holding on to some of their cores, if I recall correctly. So I need to do that just so I can integrate them. Yeah. Let's go. I don't need my guys in position. They'll get there soon enough. And I have random guys standing around. Sure. 60 ducats for two development points. That ain't bad. In fact, I want to keep you two here. Random 15,000 troops. I mean, the, the cavalry can go away. But I'm going to want to go after Brunei eventually because he's too large. And that just helps me get an actual unit there. So I'm spending the money no matter what I do. I either get development cost in a province and a bunch of devastation, or I get a bunch of devastation local... Whatever. Just take all my money. It's not like I needed money, right? I feel this is a little too real right now. Something dumb comes along that I don't want to have to spend money on, and suddenly I can't spend any money. Because all of it has to go to that. Yeah. Apparently I have other units standing around. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go get rid of them. You, I need... Because I was over force limit, and I was driving up my price of everything so high. No, I wasn't. I wasn't over force limit. Why was I losing so much money? Was my attrition that bad that I... Okay. Okay, not gonna ask questions. Okay, that'll do that. Start pushing Oirat further away. Eh. I'll leave that province and take this one. No, I'm not going to border gore them even more than they already are. I mean, I'm kind of capped out at the moment, but fine. Come on, just peace out, dude. Okay. So it's just because I haven't really taken your capital, huh? I mean, I'm standing on it, I just haven't taken it. Okay. You'll peace out now? <laughs> so I can take a bunch of your land, but I can't take <laughs> 67 ducats? Okay. What's up, everybody? So for this week, I'm giving away Yakuza 4 Remastered. If you want a CD key for this game, comment the word below Yakuza. At the end of the week, I'll go through the comments, I'll pick one person that does so, and you can make a comment with just the word Yakuza in it, it doesn't just have to be that. But at the end of the week, I'll pick one person that does so at random, I'll reply to your comment with the CD key. Just be sure you're paying attention to your notifications, because if somebody else sees it first, they can enter the CD key into Steam and get the game themselves. But with that being said, let's jump back to the video. 
You do you, man. You can take my life. You'll never take my money. <laughs> Don't touch my wallet. Oh, man. Gotta love the AI. Okay, there's Mongolia. So, you're still not happy because I've been integrating people all the time. But, you'll get over it. Let's get you off the map. Still do you. It's just... I mean, that is a furnace. Do I have any actual coal? Yeah, yeah I got coal. Got a decent amount of coal, actually. So... Actually, it wouldn't be bad. So I don't want to pull back on strong duchies. The other one will kind of resolve itself in a second. How much longer do I have with you? 59. So I'm almost there. Oh, that's right. I never finished getting those cores back, did I? Oh well. Either way. Khmer is getting annihilated. Lan Fang. I mean, I could also pick you up. It's just... I'm kind of getting to the point where I don't really want small vassals. Nope. Woo, I can attack you. Let's do that. Sure. I don't know why that wasn't built already. I need to start building these. Everywhere. Okay, let's go after Wu. Can I fully annex you yet? Yes, I actually can. Oh, finally. Can get rid of him. Yeah, put yourself in a pocket. That that's smart. That won't possibly backfire against you when you have nowhere to run. Oh no, you've taken the one province. Just walk into him. Could have gone this way, but nope, go that way. <laughs> I love the AI. I love the AI. It always makes sense. Okay, let's... Get that done. Core it up. Okay. Now that that's done, let's look at options to replace expansion. I mean, I have a lot of options here, but I... I mean, humanists will make it so I never have any rebels again. Which, okay. Eh, it's kind of one of those... It's not amazing, but it's fine. Economic, but I... I mean, that'll pair well with quality, but the actual idea group isn't that necessary for me. So it's it's helpful, but it's not great. I mean, goods produced helps. Artillery combat ability. So this has good policies, but it's not a great idea group. Innovative, I'm kind of well past that point. I'm, I'm well, well, well past that point. I don't need more innovativeness. I think I'm in like 80% innovativeness right now. Like, I, I don't need more. It only... It caps out at 100, so it's not going to do anything. Religious? I mean... I'm kind of at the point of having imperialism, if that's what I need, and I'm not converting anybody. Administrative? I mean... No. Just, just no. Infrastructure? I mean, it does have that construction cost. 
You know, there's actually a lot of things in here that's useful. I, I, even though it's pretty late, I'll pick up infrastructure ideas. I mean, why not? And then we have exploration. And I'm not quite done with uh, uh, that Diplo annexing people, so I'm going to wait a second for that. Though, once he's gone, I lose strong duchies, I lose the nobility thing, but that's fine. I mean, I don't want that. So what Diplo idea am I going to want to take? Influence, maybe? I mean, influence still helps. Because I am still going to be Diplo van annexing people. It's just not going to be the smaller guys. At least that's the hope. Right? Uh, fine. I'm not actually going to help you. So I hope you got this, but okay. Uh, espionage ideas is kind of pointless now. It, it really is. So, that, that that's kind of out. Diplomatic. Spy network construction. Diplo rep. Diplomats. Army tradition. Rep and years of personal union integration. That's what I need. Uh, no. Monthly war exhaustion and diplo rep. Trade, maybe? Trade power abroad. Trade efficiency. Global trade power. Goods produced. Eh. Maritime? No, I, I kind of probably want to go down court ideas just for that mandate growth. Which is a weird thing to say. It's a really weird thing to say. Okay. I'm going to have Shun rebels, so let's send guys up here just to stomp that nonsense to the ground. So I'm 20% away. I'm getting there. Come on, finish walking. I'm trying to realize, think of why I took Aristocratic of all. Oh, that's right, because it pairs well with the the rest of it, because I get construction cost and manpower. Which is nice, but it's not quite nice enough when you're this large. You don't really need the manpower as much. Okay, I'm caught up in Diplotech at least. It's going to get ahead of me again, but that's fine. Okay, so I can wait to the end of the year and then take this. Where am I on this institution? So I can embrace it if I took a loan. I don't want to take a loan, but I can do it. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if the Mughals are allied to Bengal or not, but yeah. yeah that's, that's pretty bad there, dude. Oh, the Ottomans didn't join? The Ottomans are allied to Jean Poor. They were, anyway. Yeah, the Ottomans broke. They didn't... They wouldn't join. Are you scared? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> okay. Center of trade upgrade costs. That'll be helpful if I ever actually get down here and start to consolidate. Though I don't think I'm ever actually going to do it. Not at this rate. Okay. It's the next year. Let's... And I've already missed the tech window to not lose points. So let's do it now. Government reform. Okay. Free trade. I mean, I'm about to embrace one, but... Oh, yeah. that That's helpful. That is actually kind of helpful. 10% more goods produced in my colonies. Eh, it's not bad. Am I going to have a problem revoking things from the burgers? I can revoke that now. Which means, no, I'm not. Because I'm not... I don't really want to revoke these two things. 
I want more governing capacity because I'm always low. And yeah, I need to revoke this and this actually. Now I can start getting more uh, absolutism. Which, I don't think they've nerfed it, but it's definitely not as important as it used to be. It used to be, like, if you don't have absolutism, you were just having massive problems. But now it's not too bad. At least in my opinion. I'll go with the inflation reduction. Because I know I'm getting some inflation somehow. I really don't know where I'm getting it from, but I know I was getting some. So this will just cut that down. Do I take it now or do I wait for tech? I mean, the tech is important, so let's let's go with that. And I, we need you to flip. Am I looking at the wrong province? Yes, I am. Okay, so I need to dev you. I need to dev you. Because then you'll spawn coal. Dev you to spawn coal. I, I know it won't spawn now, but because it's not uh, whatever it is, you can get the you get the furnace before it, it will ever actually be useful. I don't know why they did it that way, but they did. They should have tied the furnace to the year it should spawn coal, because <laughs> what is it? Um, Age of Revolutions? What is it? Enlightenment. Yeah. They should have tied the the tech to get the furnace with the approximate year that you gain enlightenment. I don't know why they didn't. Yeah, I don't think that's necessarily worth it. I mean, we're quite a ways away from enlightenment. But I do want to start getting them built. Can I build more manufacturing? Uh, kinda. There we go. I was just looking at the wrong end. Yeah, isn't that the stupid little province right here? <laughs> That's right. I, I'm like, why didn't I click that before? Oh yeah, because it's a very dumb little province that I'm never going to bother putting a fort on or want anybody to ever get to. That's right. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm at war. No. Just no. Oh, I let them get in here. No. I forgot about this stuff over here. At least I can grab this one. It doesn't matter if I keep the colonist or not, as long as I get it started. That way he's... The only place that they could actually get to me is the Ottomans right here. What's up, everybody? So again, I'm kind of bad at maintaining my timing with the clock, so I'm going to use this as a general thank you for watching, because, well, it kind of sucks just to have the video end without any kind of word from me. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys are enjoying what I'm doing so far, like and subscribe, because I will be continuing this game. I'm having a lot of fun. But have a great day.